Are you ready to join me in transforming fear to freedom? That's the objective of the show. Are you ready to explore with me and my guests? Are you ready to get into the deep and play? This is where it's at, and that's what it's all about. No medical advice here. Use discernment and decide for yourself if the information is right for you. All views and opinions expressed on this show belong to the individual and are not necessarily shared with the producer of the show. Now let's get real and have some fun. Who are we going to explore with today? Come on with me and let's get into the deep. We're back with another episode of Let's Get Real, chatting with Catherine. And I really wanted to bring back Debbie Lane to explain to us something that's an event that's coming up. The event is the Chinese New Year. And at, in the past, we've done several videos talking about the different zodiac signs of the um, Chinese zodiac. And uh, to help people to understand this is a different culture, but it's another way of looking at life. It's another way of looking at the influences of animals like we have it in the um, native culture with the totems and the spirit animals and we have it with western astrology with the zodiac signs the sun signs and we also have it with chinese culture which is awesome and so their chinese new year is january 25th and debbie lang is going to give us a little insight into what's going on and let us know what event she's got coming up to celebrate and to inform us so Debbie, welcome to the show, and I'm so glad you're back with us today. And I will put your website information so people can go there to get more information and to the YouTube channel where you'll be providing us with information, I'm sure. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you so much, Catherine. It's wonderful to be here and to be chatting about Chinese New Year's at this appropriate time of the year. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just to begin with, it's interesting that there are, there are kind of differing opinions about when the Chinese New Year begins, when you decide that the new animal takes charge. And um, it seems to me that the majority of what I'm hearing is Chinese New Year itself, which this year is January 25th, and that begins a week of festivities. And, uh, but other, um, people who study the the animal years and the uh, oh, the energies that happen throughout the year uh, decide that it's about February 4th every year oh. because Chinese New Year actually happens uh, um, at any uh, given time between uh, mid to end January to uh, beginning of March <clears throat> because it's a lunar calendar that uh -huh. it's not the solar calendar that we're used to using I mean they do use a solar calendar calendar now um, but traditionally they they work on a lunar calendar interesting yeah, they do but they've always adjusted for the solar uh, calendar too by adding um, an extra month every couple of years Oh, kind of like we do f to adjust to the leap. discrepancy with uh, leap day or leap year. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, so it's so more. You, you have researched though the 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 zodiac. Is it called the zodiac? Did I have the that? Zodiac. Yes, it's right. twelve. Just like we have twelve signs, they have twelve signs too, and I find they actually match up quite well almost exactly not not exactly perfectly but what i love is it gives uh, to you know shines a light on different aspects so to what i see is the year of the rat the first year of the chinese uh, cycle is actually um somewhat like our sign of aries so <clears throat> chinese are just looking at the whole year's energy of the year you're born in or the year you're in. So everyone is born in a particular year. And for those who are born in January, February, uh, you have to look carefully into the, the there, there's a, you know, a schedule for all the years. But because Chinese New Year will end, on, uh, will land on different dates, you might be in the year before 
or the year that you where the year number you're currently in <clears throat> if you're born in Jan late January or, or, or February. It's a bit like the, the Western astrology where you go by it's the month you're born in and yeah. then it's the, but you can be born on the cusp of Leo or the cusp of Virgo or the cusp of Capricorn. So you're in that little angel yes. Right. So <laughs> that <clears throat> when the sun actually enters that particular part of the uh, the equ equatorial area. And when with for the year, um, there's actually charts out there that tell you if you were born in a certain year, what year under the Chinese zodiac you are, you were born. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Wikipedia has it. It's all over the internet. Um, so are you out. going to um, be doing a, a general, like in the year of the rat, this is the energy that's involved and then how does that influence each person? So I was born in the year of the rat. So the year of the rat would probably have different significance for someone else who was born in the year of the dog or the pig or dragon or something like that. Is that right? Yes, it does. And, and the Chinese have a very uh, beautiful way of making um, references to the nature of the animal as it's portrayed. So for instance, rat <clears throat> gets along very well uh, with certain animals and not at all well with others. So it gets along well with um, tiger, very well with tiger. So tiger is going to do very well in rat year. Mm. May not realize it because tiger is very uh, individual animal and rat is more of a uh, community animal, but rat quite admires tiger. <laughs> but um, then there's other animals that it doesn't get along with at all. I believe that a, rat, a rabbit is not um, a particularly, rat and rabbit are separate, and horse and rabbit, well, uh, I mean horse and rat. You can imagine horse is running over the fields, is not going to appreciate the holes that rat might have burrowing into the landscape. Yeah, I get that. that. I get that. That's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, you call it the, what do you call it, the white? It's this year, every uh, rat, there's five different elements. <clears throat> and there's also the yin and the yang. And so this is a yang uh, year. Uh, no, sorry, it's, yeah, it's a yang year. And it's the metal year. So uh, anyone who's 60 years old this year uh, would be born in a metal year. So five elements times 12 animals, very simple, it's 60. And so there's a cycle of years that go uh, along. And uh, this year is, let's see, the, the year of the white metal rat. So it's interesting because they're using the elements, like in the Chinese five elements, there's me metal, water, wood, earth, and fire. fire. Mm. And, and with the sun signs, they go with plants. Uh, with the Western system? Yeah. Yes. Right. Well, so, we have constellations of stars in the Western system that are basically the constellations that ring the equator of Earth. Right. And so you can tell your sun sign because the sun is between Earth and a certain set of stars that has been grouped into a uh, constellation. And those signs are divided, you know, it's a 360 circle, 12 of them, it's 30 degrees each. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> the Chinese celebrate for a week? <laughs> they do, yes. And that balances <laughs> out in the lunar, lunar year, that balances it out. Um, it's a really oh, important. Mean? Uh, celebration in China. It's the celebration. Um, in, that in that month uh, uh, before, Chi before Chinese New Year, people are given two months pay. And that's a, that's a process that really happens even now because they need extra money because everybody is supposed to have new clothes, a clean house, um, and go to wherever their family is. Wow. Uh, 
country and spend time with their family and their and worship you know do worshiping of the ancestors and festivities and great food and <clears throat> giving to charity and so there should be a, there would be an increase in travel at this time then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting culture. Well, it's, you know, it's their big holiday. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. And uh, they don't celebrate the smaller holidays as much, so birthdays aren't as recognized. In fact, when you're born, <clears throat> the next uh Chinese New Year's is when you become one. So, for instance, my mother-in-law was born um, before, just before Chinese New Year's. <clears throat> so, when you're born, you're actually considered to be one years old, <clears throat> traditionally. And then, <clears throat> before she was even a month old, she became two because Chinese New Year's happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Therefore, her actual um, age has always been um, kind of flexible. Right. It's fun. We got to celebrate her 90th birthday several times. <laughs> I'll, bet. I'll bet. And yeah. Okay. So, so what kinds of things, what kind of, like, are there parties? Are there um... oh, feasts? There are certain foods that you eat specifically at Chinese New Year, New Year for luck. And a lot of times the kind of foods um, because there's a limited number of syllables in the language, there's a lot of repetition of sounds sometimes, and so words sound like other words. So they make a lot, they have four tones, <clears throat> and if, if a food sounds like good luck or fortune or, the, you know, whatever the word is in Chinese, that will be a food that you eat. Really? And then things that are have to do with seasons and just plain deliciousness. <laughs> like shortbread rhymes with Christmas or sounds just like it. So that's why I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> <For> sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, maybe not the same thing. <laughs> why not? Let's go with it. Yeah, it's, it's a year of, and the whole process of getting ready, you know, is quite important. You know, showing up in your best clothes, brand new clothes, everything swept clean. Oh, and there's a really uh, cool uh, thing that I learned about when I was a teenager with my Chinese friends is if you're not married, all the married folk give you red envelopes filled with money. And if, you know, there's enough married folk around and you're visiting, oh my goodness, you can be pretty lucky. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. That's that's fascinating too. So in this year, I do remember some of my teachings from previous <laughs> Demi Lang Chinese New Year's. And one of the things you were saying is the year, if it's your year, if you're mm -hmm. born, so I'm born in the year of the rats, so this is my year as the host. So yeah. that means, can you explain a bit about that? Yeah, it means that if it's your year, you're going to have more responsibilities. So um you know theoretically it should be a lucky year for you because it's yours but what you're doing is you are uh going into the year with all the strengths and all the uh likes and dislikes that go along with being a rat but you're also there with all the weaknesses too plus you have the responsibility the organization the cleanup of so you have to be uh, ready for extra responsibilities usually. However, there is a caveat this year. Being the first year of the cycle, it's like starting a race and everybody's leaving the, um, the starting blocks at the same time. So the thing about rat year that's kind of interesting, different than most of the other years is that the differences in people's fortune is very minimized because you're all near the starting block. So you're not, you haven't um, got all these different experiences happening based and responding to them based on your, your animal sign. <clears throat> so you're basically uh, not experiencing the really highs, but not a, the really lows either. That goes for everything. So health generally is good works generally good 
It's a good year for romance, but don't expect a lot of change because it's just, it's a new beginning. Mm. So at the beginning, start us out at the same place. So it's like the story, you know, when the plane takes off from Vancouver to Halifax, it's always off course a little bit. If it, it's continuing off one degree off course without adjusting, it's actually going to, by the time it gets to Halifax, be really off course. It and that's to Halifax. To start a race is if you're mistaking where you want to, or if you have a different end point and different longings and different challenges than everybody else, you could end up in a different place. Of course, when you get to Year of the Pig, which is what we had last year, that's the year of endings. And so everyone is coming to a conclusion of their particular cycle and themes for that 12 year period between rat and pig. Um, this year we're starting a whole bunch of new themes. Everybody's basically starting off from the same starting point. However, we bring all our individual personalities and our fortunes and our um, experiences are going to change how the race or the <laughs> journey, how the journey <laughs> happens for everybody. But we're not looking at big roller coasters of experience this year. <clears throat> so there's a collective rat energy throughout the year for everyone, and then there's an yeah. in individual. So right. But it isn't as individual as some years are. Okay. So everybody basically can consider they're having pretty good fortune this year, whether they get along with rat or not. Now, the great thing is that I like to look at the relationship of the individual to their Western sun sign, which kind of is another, I can equate it to a different animal energy because I think you can line up the Western system and the Chinese system very closely. Okay. If your animal's not getting along with rat or say mine, I'm a dog. <clears throat> I mean, you do get along, but let's say you didn't. Um, then I, I could bring into uh, um, my understanding that, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Taurus, which is like an ox the second sign of the zodiac, both of them. And I can live, I can have um, kind of a modification of my relationship with what animal, whatever animal year it is because of my Western birth sign. And believe it or not, it actually works. I really notice that um, this is the combination Western sun sign and Chinese year gives us those modulations, those modifications of energies so that different individuals born in the same year can have a different relationship with what happens in the year. Or if they're going from what happens in their sun sign for them, being born in a different Chinese year can modulate the experiences that they can have in the, uh, in their sun side. And it with the Chinese. That's a convenient way of looking at it, I think. I well, love chocolate. But you know, it also plays really well into the idea the when we understand that what we believe about things really has an influence. So the Absolutely. more I, you know, I choose to, it's sort of like numerology. I'm choosing to believe this is a master year, this is a 22. Other people are saying it's a four. And I just say, I'm not even interested in arguing. It's, that's how I'm perceiving it as a 22 year. I'm it is very individual, isn't it? Yeah. And we have all these energies happening to us. They're all wavelengths. And this is the truth is we can choose which energy wavelength we're going to uh, have, if we're going to experience, have affect us. And, and it is all choice, isn't it? So these are just guidelines. But what I like to do talking about the guidelines is make it conscious. Mm -hmm. conscious what the energies, because rat year will bring certain energies into the world. That's the part of the universe that we're traveling through. And there, there's, there's different energies activated all the time. And we can have this relationship and take advantage of 
the year of the rat is a beginning year and practice new beginnings. Look at our life in terms of what is it we want to let go of and what do we want to start. And to pay attention to what themes are coming up for us as individuals and as, you know, as, as a global and national person as well. What themes are we seeing and how do we utilize the energy that rat, the totem of rat, which is a, a wise, sagacious, clever, and um, fast moving energy. So uh, we can trust our brains this year. We can trust our longings this year. We can trust our, our intuition because rat knows when to run and when to stay still. <laughs> when to take advantage of opportunities and when to pass them by. Because in this year, there are lots of opportunities and we can start paying attention to them that come up for individuals in a variety of ways, especially opportunities to change and to, to shift our attention. So like that plane that's taking off to, from Vancouver to Halifax, we, we know that the pilot knows is going to have to adjust to keep himself in track. We can know that we need to adjust too. And that's a conscious choice. Which way do we really, you know, what, where's our flight path taking us? Yeah. What, mm -hmm. Well, and also, um, it, it's just really helpful to, to sort of have confirmation of, because I personally have been feeling this change in energy. Yes. In, in all, you know, all, all these different things, the year, the numerology, the astrology, Western and Chinese, um, the evolution of our species, so to speak. And mm -hmm. th this feels like a new beginning. It feels like, even though I am aware that there are still some things needing to be tidied up, cleaned up, because I'm a rat and I know that. <laughs> you know, things need to be fixed and sorted out and organized and get things in their place so we can function and move but it feels like it we're ready and it's lighter and it's and it's a practical kind of an energy it doesn't feel giddy it just feels mm, yeah let's kind of like you say ride in the waves of energy yeah yeah so and, and that is the energy that uh, there is a lot of choice this year but we need to know that the time is speeding up Energies are speeding up. Opportunities coming quickly, but also going quickly. Mm -hmm. So when, in Year of the Rat, people are advised to pay close attention to what's going on, especially in career, also in relationship. Uh, you know, all the parts of our life are important. Sure. Uh, what do we want? Be clear about what we want. And then to look closely at things to find out what is um, the shift, what's that got for us and what does it not have for us? What do, you know, and to hop on to what wants to happen. So for instance, you know, this is, this is really connected to rat because when the, uh, Jade Emperor first decided to name all these energies of years after animals, I invited to, you know, 12 animals in particular to come to this competition and he said the first one to get here gets to be the first one the last one to get here will be the last one and so rat it was very clever jumped on to tiger to get there real quickly um the 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 the, the root needed some strength so actually uh, ox was coming first so it decided to ride on ox to get there you know to do these difficult um perils of the journey and then just as ox was arriving first and tiger close behind rat jumped off <laughs> the ox ahead of him so got to be first in line this is how clever rat is very hey, clever yes <clears throat> so and, you're going to be sorry mm -hmm. I just wanted to let people know that you're going to be doing in Kamloops. You're from Kamloops, British Columbia. That's where you're situated. You're going to be doing in-person classes. So if people want to get involved in that for the um, Chinese New Year, they can contact <laughs> you. Go to your the, website. Um, the afternoon of the 26th, between 1 and 4, I'll have my local thing get in touch with me. Um, <clears throat> 
uh, or cosmic detective at gmail.com. The cosmic detective at gmail.com to contact you. And, and then, then my Facebook page, the cosmic detective or Debbie Lang. Okay. And then the online is going to be actually on Chinese New Year's on January 25th, 2020. And uh, I'll be doing it in Zoom. I'll need to have people's Chinese year and their Western sun sign. If you don't know what it is, you can look it up or send it to me and I'll check it out. So they contact you and we, you do, they don't have to go anywhere. They can do it from the privacy right. of their own home. <laughs> on Zoom, that's right. Yes. If, but they contact you first and then they'll get the invitation and they, and they pay for the course um, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And all of that happens, and then you, they will provide you with their sun sign and the year they were born. Or they should probably like because you could get a lot of people, Debbie, and then you've got to sort that out beforehand. But I've always found the information to be very uh, helpful, insightful. To you know, just well, give you know, I need it, so I'm looking it up anyways, and. Uh, yeah, it, and it's amazing, you know, when I start telling people the information, not just about their year, but also as it pertains to their sun sign. It's really um, interesting. Even people I don't know at all will say, oh, yeah, that's me, or they'll yeah. laugh. You're, always, you're very accurate. I, I find that the insight is, is quite incredible, and it's helpful when you are planning your life, when you are making, you know, opportunities. So it's just knowing that opportunities are coming and going very quickly is a key for this year because you might think oh well an opportunity showing up oh, i've got lots of time to think about it but maybe right. maybe you know not saying that you should rush into it right take take your whatever time you need and if it's not right for you well that's in the intuition of rat to help you know mm. if it's the opportunity for you or not and if it's coming to you it's quite likely the opportunity for you okay and know is that rat is very sociable so there's going to be lots of opportunities and you should take those opportunities to be social party and you know get together with people your co-workers family friends and uh, you know put on your best clothes because rat loves bling have delicious food because rat loves good food yes. <laughs> very much so but um something you said there so if i'm a tiger i can call on rat intuition if yes I'm a dog i can call it ah so because rat right. is very helpful wants to help and for a horse it's good to kind of know that in rat year there's not a good relationship necessarily so you need to maybe lie low um take care of business at hand and expect better next year you know, um, be sociable, um, be, um, show up, uh, and, and work on those areas that rat gives you strength to about using intuition and, um, taking risks in considered ways and to, uh, be, uh, mm -hmm generous to those people that you love and uh, to spend your money more on other people rather than yourself. Um, those are some of the things that, you know, your health, you can suffer from water related issues. So, you know, things to do with kidney and bladder, you need to take care of your uh, rat gets tired easily, you need to have appropriate rest. But generally, rat has really good health. It's also a great year in rat year because it's the beginning year to uh, let go of habits you don't want to have and also to practice the ones you do want to have. Hmm. It's a great year to forgive and let go of, especially in the family, hmm. but knowing that the people you work with is also your family, right. to forgive anything that and to work on issues where you get uh, triggered by other people. Um, it's a good year to get rid of debt. This is the year to pay things off, not buy new things. 
Um, and this is not a year where debt is comfortable for people. So follow that feeling and pay off debt and don't make new debt. You yeah. know, darn the socks. And <laughs> you can buy things, but don't go into debt to do it sort of thing. That's right. Go to the secondhand store if you really need something. Um, Recycle, reuse, repurpose. <laughs> I love, I love repurpose. That's right. Um, so you can, ex if you want to have a new job, it is possible for many of the other a the animals to get new jobs, but to recognize that some of the animals who are not as close friends with rat, um, you might have to wait longer to get a new job. Um, but if something is offered to you, you can really connect, you can connect with that. It's an important year to kind of beginning of the cycle. Look at how your, your life fits you. If you're in relationships that you, um, you, it's time to look at things carefully, closely, clearly, and choose if this is what you want to do for the next 12 years. That's the number 12. So uh, if your job doesn't fit you, if it doesn't seem to have room to move forward, then you, you need to look around for something. And when you're in rat year, because um, things are, for the most part, all held equally, you're all close to the starting line, um, and new beginnings are with us, and the, it's the kind of old things are wrapped up and we can let them go. Another good thing, let go. Let go of the past. That's why the forgiveness and the debts are really good to let go of because those are from the past. You don't want that. Start fresh and decide, you know, uh, and put it out there. What do you want? Um, and not to effort struggle after it, but to know that because you're close to the beginning of something new, you're more likely to have it come to you with much less effort. Well, thank you, Debbie. That is so insightful. And for people who cannot show up in person to the one you're doing in uh, Kamloops or are, are not available for the online one or want to have a more private session, they can contact right. you at the cosmicdetective at gmail.com. Right. Correct. That's and set something up because you might have a situation because on Zoom, there will be other people there um, to you know, participating, but sometimes you want more personal detail. You want to uh, find out more about both your sun sign and your Chinese sign and also about your, your life path or whatever it is. And you can do it long distance. You don't have to be in Kamloops to connect with Debbie. So it's so great. <laughs> <laughs> what a world. <laughs> the technology is really supporting better communication i think and but uh, which makes sense for this year of the rat social socialization isn't always in person sometimes <laughs> making a connection you know virtually so thank you very much debbie lang and thank you very much to you the viewer for watching and please don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video as i said in the previous video this is 2020 and we're starting a new series and i intend to go into those areas that maybe I didn't go so deep before, but now I'm definitely curious enough to go there. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care. Wow, wasn't that amazing? Thank you to my guests for sharing with us today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share the link, preview guests and explore links to our Facebook fan page, WordPress blog and more. We are creating an exquisite world. Until next time, take care.